If you're new to RVing, or maybe you're looking to upgrade your travel trailer, there's always that one big question that you're gonna have to answer. Can my car tow it? Ooh, it's cold out here. Let's go inside and we'll talk about this a little bit. Hi folks, Dayhiker from The Six here, and today we're going to walk through how to determine if your car can tow a travel trailer. Now, you might ask, isn't it as simple as my car will tow, say, 4,000 pounds, the trailer weighs less than 4,000 pounds, so I'm good? Well, I'm here to tell you that no, it isn't quite that simple. First of all, you're going to want to load your trailer with stuff. So that 3,900 pound weight, well, doesn't mean much. Second of all, trailer weight isn't your only potential problem. In most cases, it's gonna be one of the other vehicle capacity or trailer weight numbers that determines if you can actually safely tow the trailer or not. So let's go through step-by-step step using my Toyota Venza car and Safari Condo Alto trailer as an example of how to answer the age-old question, can my car tow it? And as you know, on this channel, we focus on lightweight trailers you can tow with a car, but the basic principles we're going to cover today, they will apply just as well to a heavy-duty pickup towing a 30-foot trailer. Before we dive in, a few disclaimers. I am offering this information based on my trailer buying experience and the information that we gathered during that process. I'm not a towing industry expert, and I always recommend consulting a towing shop before you make any towing decisions to make sure you've got it right. Another key point before we start, all of the numbers that we talk about today only apply if the vehicle and trailer tires are in good condition and inflated to spec. Both your car and trailer have stickers outlining the correct inflation pressures, so find them and make sure your tires are properly inflated. I also recommend having your tires inspected by a tire dealer annually since RVs are extremely hard on tires. Okay, that's enough intro, so let's dive in and we'll start with trailer weight. Our Alto R1723 has a 2,700 pound gross vehicle weight rating, or GVWR, which means it's overloaded once the total weight of the trailer, along with everything in it or on it, exceeds 2,700 pounds. My trailer has a dry weight of 2,020 pounds, which means I can load up to 680 pounds of payload into the trailer before I'll be overweight. By the time we add 60 pounds of bikes, 75 pounds of RV accessories, 60 pounds of food, 333 pounds of clothes and camping gear, we now weigh 2,548 pounds. The good news is we're not overloaded since that is less than the 2,700 pound GVWR, but if we throw in an inflatable kayak or another bike, or we have anything in the waste tanks, eh, we can easily reach that 2,700 pound maximum. So here's the first key point, which especially applies to smaller trailers with small payloads. You can bet at some point you will tow your trailer fully loaded. So when you're calculating your towing numbers, Use the trailer GVWR as the amount of weight that you need to tow. Now let's look at the vehicle. Our car has a tow weight rating of 3,500 pounds. Not all manufacturers provide the tow weight rating in the same location. For some, it's on their website. For others, there is a sticker on the truck. And sometimes your owner's manual will tell you. Our owner's manual lists three different tow weight ratings for our Toyota, so we have to know our engine code and if the car has a tow package just to be sure that we've got the right number. If you're not certain about your car, or especially a pickup truck, go to a new car dealer service department with your VIN number and ask them to tell you. Make sure you find your car's exact spec. You can't go based on someone else's car or by make and model alone. Now that we know the car's tow weight rating and what the trailer weighs when it's full of stuff, do we know enough to answer the question, can my car tow it? Well, 3,500 pounds of towing capacity and a maximum trailer weight of 2,700 pounds tells us that trailer weight's not a problem. But there are still a lot more numbers to look at, so we can't actually answer the question yet. Next, we need to look at the tongue weight rating of the tow vehicle. Tongue weight is the maximum amount of trailer weight your car can carry on the hitch ball. You'll find this number in the same place as the tow weight rating, and this one is also specific to your exact car. One year make model of car or truck can have multiple tongue weight ratings, so if you're not sure, consult your dealer for the correct rating for your vehicle. Our car has a maximum tongue weight rating of 385 pounds. Our owner's manual doesn't specify the tongue weight in pounds. Instead, it lists nine to 11% of trailer weight, and 11% of 3,500 pounds is 385 pounds, so that's what I'm using for the Toyota's tongue weight rating. Now let's look at the tongue weight of the trailer to see if we're okay. Trailer tongue weight is very difficult to determine because it changes depending on trailer options and accessories and where you load your cargo and which tanks are full and so on. For example, if I load up the front of the trailer, tongue weight goes up. If I load up right above the wheels, tongue weight won't change much, 
But if I load up the back of the trailer, it actually reduces tongue weight. The best way to find out your tongue weight is to load up the trailer and then weigh the tongue. Tongue weight scales are reasonably priced. I actually just bought one at Princess Auto up here in Canada for 40 bucks. If you look at our trailer and a lot of the cargo ends up at the front, and sure enough, when I weighed the tongue, I ended up with 370 pounds of tongue weight. The good news is I'm within Toyota's 385 pounds, although just barely. Because you can adjust tongue weight by moving cargo around though, remember that you should always shoot for a minimum of 10% of the loaded trailer weight on the tongue, and that's to avoid trailer sway. Okay, we've determined that we're okay on tongue weight, so we can tow it, right? Well, we still don't know because we just haven't checked everything yet. What about the towing equipment? The receiver, the ball, and the hitch all have their own ratings, which should be stamped or labeled directly on the item. And what I can see is my hitch and ball are way overbuilt for this trailer, but that my receiver is only capable of towing the trailer if I use weight distribution. Without weight distribution, the receiver only takes 350 pounds of tongue weight. With weight distribution, it's 400 pounds. So thank goodness I bought a weight distribution capable receiver. On a quick side note, on finding the best receiver for your car, the eTrailer.com website is a great resource as they carry most towing brands and the site is super easy to use. It can really help you zero in on the brand and part number of receiver that has the highest capacity. Okay, tow capacities and all the towing equipment pass, so we're good, right? Not quite yet. Believe it or not, at this point, we've only established that my empty car can tow the trailer. Well, I don't wanna travel empty. I wanna bring my family. I want gear in the car. So there's a few more checks to do. Next up, just as your trailer has a GVWR and payload, your tow vehicle does as well. Both are usually found on the driver's door jam. Similar to your trailer, the main thing to know here is that you should never exceed either of these numbers. This rule applies both with and without the trailer connected. For our car, GVWR is 5,269 pounds and the payload is 895 pounds. We're going to take a close look at the 895 pounds payload because that's easier to work with than GVWR. You can figure out how much payload you're using by looking at the weights of everything on the inside and outside of your car that didn't come from the Toyota factory. You can see above that with just 330 pounds of day hikers, uh, 100 pounds of luggage, 80 pounds of hitch and receiver, and 250 pounds of tongue weight, we're getting close to maxing out our payload at 760 pounds. At this point, you might also be saying, hey, day hiker from the six, are you trying to pull a fast one here? I remember your tongue weight was 370 pounds. And you're right, good catch, but my weight distribution hitch sends 120 of those pounds back to the trailer axle. Without weight distribution, we'd be struggling to make this work, especially if we want to bring 240 pounds worth of kids with us. So let's sum up the key point of payload. Payload is what limits most vehicles towing capability because every pound of trailer tongue weight reduces the amount of people and cargo your car can carry. The Venza has just barely enough payload for us to tow the trailer and bring our four family members. You now know why we try to pack light. You should also be aware of axle weight ratings and gross combined weight ratings as well, but checking these means you have to weigh your fully loaded vehicle and trailer at a cat scale, something you can't do when you're trailer shopping. But if you stay within all the other numbers we've talked about, you'll likely never have an issue with axle or combined weight ratings. But if you're towing at or near capacity, you should head to the cat scales and make sure you've not overloaded any axle. Back to our vehicle and trailer. So I'm happy to report that yes, my Toyota Venza can tow the Safari Condo Alto. The Toyota's tow capacity, max tongue weight, vehicle GVWR, payload and towing equipment are just enough to handle the trailer's GVWR and tongue weight but it was a squeaker on tongue weight because of the Venza's low payload. I encourage you to check all of the numbers for your own tow setup and make sure you don't go overweight on any of them. Your tow capacity is ultimately decided by the lowest rated component that you're using, so it's really important to go through this exercise to keep your family and everyone else safe out there on the road. If you're new to RVing and wondering about what RV accessories you need, you'll want to watch this video and if you like this one, please hit like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there.